Hello, in this video we're going to drive the mean, the variance, the method of moments estimators for a two-parameter Lindley distribution. And here's the, the form of the density that we're going to use. And I've seen different parameterizations of it, but this is the one we're using. Now here, x and theta are greater than zero, and alpha times theta must be greater than minus one. First, let's prove that it's a PDF. So what we do is we take this times each of those, and then this times each, and there's two pieces. So when we integrate it from zero to infinity, there's really two pieces that we're integrating. So the first one here, we factor out all the constants, and this looks like an exponential distribution. If this were had a times theta, then this would integrate to one. And since it's not there, it integrates to one over theta. And then one of the thetas cancels with that, alpha, and that's what this is. Now this piece here is a gamma distribution. Uh, and if the constants out front were theta squared over gamma uh, to the second, gamma uh, two, two, then this would integrate to one, but it's done, then we have to take the reciprocals of it. So these constants come out front, and then we're left with this. And then you notice that those cancel, gamma of two is one, and then that added together is one. So it is a PDF. Now, let's derive the arc moment of this function. And so, um, we generically we'll call it mu to the r, which is e, or the expected value of x to the r, which means you take x to the r times its density, and then integrate it from zero to infinity. Now again, we're going to treat this as two pieces, like we did in driving it for a PDF. So here's the first one, here's the second one. Here we just, I take the constants out of both of them. And we'll put them back in a second. So this right here is, this is a gamma distribution, so it integrates to one over the, the, what, the reciprocal of the constants needed, which are this. And then this, of course, is a gamma distribution or you know, function also. So this integrates to this, gamma of, whoa, got a long message there. Now, let's, um, let's combine these into one fraction, which is this. Now this theta squared cancels with this piece right there. And then we can factor out an r squared or an r factorial. And we're left with this. And so this is the the arc moment. So we're going to use that to find the mean. So that when r is equal to 1, the expected value of x, we get this. The second moment, we let r equal 2, and we get this right here. You just put r equal 2. Then the variance becomes the expected value of x squared minus the mean squared, and plugging in the, the values that we derived, uh, combining, and we get this. So this is the variance, so the mean and the variance of the two-parameter Lindley distribution. Now, to find the method of moments estimators for this distribution, we take the first and second moments of this distribution and set them equal to the sample first and second moments. So we're going to let m1 be this, the sum of the xi divided by n, and m2 is the sum of the xi squared. <clears throat> and so we take m1 equal to this, which is what this represents. And then what we do is we solve this for alpha, and we get alpha hat. And so this is our uh, method of moments estimator for alpha. But now we need to find the, you know, solve for theta. So what we do is we take the second moment, set it equal to the second pop, you know, sample moment. And that's what we do here. But wherever there was an alpha, we plug in this, you know, alpha hat, which is what we do here. <clears throat> then 
we multiply up, divide down, and that's what this piece is. And then we expand the alphas. Then um, this alpha cancels with though that, this cancels with that. We get a like denominator. And then actually the denominators cancel. And we're left with this. Now we take everything to the you know one side and then we get a quadratic equation in theta and then we use the uh, quadratic formula to solve for theta and this is it and so this is our method of moments estimator for theta and then you take it and plug it back in to solve for alpha and those are your method of moments estimators for a two parameter Lindley distribution well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.